Eight News is taking action tonight, searching for answers after sex charges were dropped against a Virginia Beach pastor. You're watching 8 News at 6. I'm Eric Phillips. I'm Deanna Albritton. The Chesterfield prosecutor who was on the case against John Blanchard now releasing a written statement. 8 News reporter Olivia Jakewith is live in the Digital Center with that response. Olivia. That's right, Eric Deanna, providing comment for the first time on this since November. Attorney Stacey Davenport says her by its decision not to move forward with the case and that neither the decision nor her office is motivated by politics. This comes after criticism of her office's handling of the case against Blanchard by both Chesterfield Police Chief Jeff Katz and State Delegate Tim Anderson. But Davenport says, quote, moral outrage is no substitute for evidence. The charges against Pastor Blanchard were dropped this past October, almost exactly one year after he was arrested, along with 16 other men in an undercover sex sting out of Chesterfield County. These text messages show his exchanges with police posing as a 17 year old prostitute. Now, just this week, Katz released his own statement saying for whatever reason, the charges against Blanchard were dropped. It was not because of a lack of evidence. But Davenport says in the more than 10,000 cases prosecuted by her office in 2022, quote, it's inevitable that our office and the Chesterfield Police Department will occasionally disagree on the strengths and weaknesses of individual cases. Now, this comes after months of our email requests and phone calls and in more recent weeks going directly to the Commonwealth's attorney's office to try to speak with her. Here's 8 News legal analyst Russ Stone. That certainly is a case that could have been presented. What a judge or jury would have done with it, we don't know, but that's true in every case as well. As we've reported, 13 other men arrested in this sting were found guilty with one case still pending. I gave the Commonwealth's Attorney's Office another call today, but was once again told that no one was available to speak with me. For now, live in the Digital Center, Olivia Jakewith, 8 News.